Hello and welcome to the lecture series on economics of growth and development. In the previous class, we have seen human development index and the various aspects of it. Today, I'll talk about the calculation of human development index. So let's get started. So you can see that the table is talking about indicators in the first column and the maximum and minimum values in the subsequent columns. So the indicators which we looked at or which we are going to study in the human development index are the three social indicators, meaning thereby life expectancy at birth, the adult literacy rate and the combined gross enrollment ratio which is also called as the education index and then one economic indicator which is the GDP per capita in dollar terms. Yeah, so let's get started. Let's see how life expectancy is measured and what are the maximum and minimum values for it. So the maximum value is 85 years and the minimum value is 25 years. Then we have adult li literacy rate the maximum value is 100 and the minimum value is 0. Whenever I am going to calculate the dimension index for education, what I am going to do is for adult literacy rate, I am going to attach two third of the weights as I have told you in the previous class. Similarly, for combined gross enrollment ratio, I will be attaching one third of the weight in the dimension index. So combined gross enrollment ratio will talk about the primary, secondary and tertiary levels of education. Yeah. So this is the combined index or the education index for both adult literacy as well as the primary, secondary and tertiary literacy. Yeah. Then we move to GDP per capita and the maximum value recorded is $40,000 and the minimum value is $100,000. So this is a, a very comprehensive idea of what are the different indicators and what are the maximum and minimum values of the same. Now. To calculate the dimension index, we have a special formula which talks about, it is obviously a ratio. I hope you can recollect, I have given this ratio in the previous class itself, but let us revise. It is a ratio of what? In the numerator, I am talking about the difference between actual value and the minimum value. And in the denominator, I am talking about the range, that is the difference between the maximum value and the minimum value. So this is my dimension index. Now let us take an arbitrary example of country A, which has life expectancy rate of 78 years then we have adult literacy rate of 92 percent and the gross enrollment ratio or the combined gross enrollment ratio of that country a is 60 percent and the gdp per capita is dollar 8840 let us now look at the calculation of the dimension index with respect to these indicators which are outlined in the table here yeah so now when I talk about life expectancy index, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the formula that is actual value minus minimum value. So the actual value for country A is 78 minus the minimum value which I have in the table, which is 25 divided by the range, which is the difference between the two. So when I do that, I get a, a, a value which is less than one and greater than zero, which is 0 0.884. Let us leave it there. Let us now come to something called as education index. Now, this is important because I have to attach weights to both of the things. Yeah. So education index can be looked at from two different dimensions. One is called as the adult literacy for which I'm going to attach two third of the weight and gross enrollment ratio combined primary, secondary and tertiary education which for which I will be attaching one third of the weights. Yeah. So whenever I talk about adult literacy, let us look at what is the adult literacy level in country A, 92%. So 92, 92 minus what is the minimum value for adult literacy is 0 divided by the range which is 100 minus 0. So it is 0 0.92. So let us leave it there. Then we have gross enrollment ratio combined. So the, ma the value which is given for country A is 60%. 60 minus the minimum value because the formula is talking about actual value minus minimum value minimum value is zero for gross enrollment uh, ratio so 60 minus zero divided by the range which is 100 minus zero so you will get 0 0.600 let us leave there now i am attaching weights to these indicators or to these different aspects of education index now two-third weight is attached to adult literacy the value is 0.92 and one third weight is attached to this value so the answer will be around 0.8 let's leave it there now another important concept is gdp per capita or how to calculate the gdp index so what i'm using here is i'm using logarithm so what i'm doing is log of the actual value the actual value is 8840 for country a minus log of 100 which is the minimum value yeah this is the minimum value because actual value minus minimum value the formula says divided by maximum minus minimum so the maximum value is forty thousand dollars and the minimum is hundred the range yeah so now <clears throat> i take a difference of this log m minus log n yeah this is what i am going to do since the bases are not there that means we assume that the bases are equal and that is why i can subtract 
these numbers yeah i can subtract these numbers so that is what i am doing and later on there's a complicated mathematical equation which will form that is log m divided by log n so what effectively happens is log m divided by log n means log m minus log n so this will go up the log 3 three nine nine double zero which is the dis difference between the two will go up and after you solve that you get something with which has the value zero point seven eight so this is my gdp index so now i have all the three indices with me what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add them up and divide by three which is i'll be taking an average of the same so i'll leave that exercise to you please do that so now <clears throat> i hope the idea of how to calculate hdi or human development index is pretty much clear yeah now let us talk about the range the range of human development index is from 0 to 1 0 denoting least developed countries or the worst developed country and 1 being the best now the range can be further classified into three different directions from if the hdi is 0 to 0.5 i'll be calling that low hdi ranking if it is greater than 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 then i'll be calling it medium hdi and whenever it is greater than 0 0.8 and uh, to 1.0 then i call that high develop uh, human development index now you will find india please check uh, what is the human development index for india i won't tell that but you will find most of the developed countries in this bracket which is 0 0.8 to 1.0 uh, you will find most of the developed countries i'm talking grossly about the scandinavian countries that is norway sweden yeah, yeah that countries so they will always be lying somewhere here from point greater than point 0.8 to 1 so this is how you calculate uh, human development index so i hope the idea of hdi is pretty much clear please stay tuned thank you